Hi, I'm Sam with Make. You probably already know that the Arduino is a cool prototyping platform that allows you to build fun projects with minimal effort. But do you realize just how awesome and interactive it can be? In our latest weekend project, Julius Schmiedel and Nick Normal teamed up to build the Crittergram Capture Cam, an Arduino-powered camera that takes pictures anytime movement is detected. Head on over to your local Radio Shack and pick up all the parts needed for this build. It's an easy project that can be completed in about an hour or two, and it doesn't require any soldering. You'll need a bare minimum of tools as well. The Radio Shack camera module features a built-in optical motion detector that could trigger the camera when an object moves in front of it. But this would lead to an SD card full of pictures of leaves blowing in the wind. A PIR sensor only detects when an object moves significantly in the scene, which keeps the photos interesting and action-filled. The Arduino is very particular about SD cards. The first step is to format a new card by plugging in the SD shield into your Arduino and install the SD Fat library. A link to the library can be found on the project page. Once you install the library, insert your SD card, open up the SD formatter sketch, and upload it to your Arduino. Simply follow the instructions found in the serial monitor, and your card should be formatted and ready to use. Now, unplug your Arduino before you wire up any circuits. Next, with the SD card shield still attached to your Arduino, you can add the PIR motion sensor. The sensor needs three wires to connect to the Arduino. We'll use male to female jumper wires to make it easy. Connect the PIR's ground wire to the ground on the SD card shield, the VCC wire to pin 8, and the output to pin 7. The PIR sensor has a jumper labeled S and L. Use it in S or short mode for sensing movement from 15 feet or less, and L or long mode for sensing movement from 15 to 30 feet. Now let's wire up the camera to the SD card shield. Start by connecting the black ground wire to the ground pin of the shield, and the red 5 volt wire to the 5 volt pin. The brown and white wires connect to the TX and RX pins on the Arduino, but we'll leave them disconnected for the next step. Now it's time to upload the code to your Arduino. If the TX and RX wires are attached while you do this, you'll receive a generic error code. Once you've uploaded the code, you can connect the white wire to the TX pin and the brown wire to the RX pin. Next, you'll plug in the power source and hit the reset button. Your camera will start taking pictures and save them as JPEGs to the SD card anytime it senses movement. Once you've gathered a few pictures, unplug your Arduino, eject the SD card, and download the pictures to your computer. If you need to adjust the focus on your camera, simply twist the lens barrel. To maximize the potential of your Crittergram capture cam, you'll need some kind of enclosure to protect all the components. We used Radio Shack's Project Enclosure Skeleton Kit, which proved to be a great way of containing all the components. A few pieces of foam tape or hot glue for mounting the sensor and camera, along with some zip ties to help with wire management, and now our camera is ready to capture. The project enclosure is great for keeping all the components safe and secure. But how about adding additional camouflaging to help conceal your project? Maybe hollow out a book, or use an old birdhouse, or even a simple shoebox to hide the electronics. Now you can use your Crittergram Capture Cam in an extra stealthy mode to catch a neighborhood critter terrorizing your garden, or grab a shot of your pooch or spouse pilfering extra snacks. If you do catch any critters or humans, be sure to upload your pictures and tag them, hashtag Crittergram on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter, or post them on the project page. We'd love to see what you catch with your Crittergram Capture Cam.